It could take months, maybe years of investigating to determine exact causes of the fire, mistakes that may have been made, and a timeline of events. But let's unpack the best reporting we have as of right now because it paints a picture of chaos, despair, and some missed opportunities to save lives. This fire story starts with wind. And actually, we're going to zoom out to two days before Maui was aflame. The, the National Weather Service actually gave us the, the red um, flag warning ahead of time. Sunday, August 6th. That's when the National Weather Service issues a fire weather watch related to the powerful winds driven by Hurricane Dora off to the island south. The morning of Tuesday, August 8th, a series of small fires break out, including one about a mile and a half from the ocean. Those fires, according to officials, were 100% contained a few hours later. But the wind continued to whip trees, roof tiles, and power lines, many of which reportedly stayed energized. Okay, key moment here, 3.15 p.m. That's when the Lahaina fire grows so large, for the first time, it can be seen from space. Oh my God, I think we need to load up the car, maybe. The scene is still a mile away from the ocean, but the fire was moving fast thanks to those winds and acres upon acres of burnt out non-native grasses ahead of it. First responders, already stretched thin from the morning fires, struggled to keep up with the flames. And then I saw one Fred dead on, dead on the ground like a piece of charcoal. Like. But state officials said the 80 warning sirens around the island never sounded. And Maui Emergency Management didn't order the immediate evacuation of the crowded neighborhoods near Lahaina's downtown, even as fire and smoke started overwhelming neighborhoods. The evacuation order came finally at 5.50 p.m., but by that point, residents had already started taking fate into their own hands. Just seemed like every second was 10 hours waiting. But not everyone fled from the flames by car. Some resorted to the Pacific Ocean or swimming pools in the middle of the inferno. One that would burn for days, claiming homes, livelihoods, and lives. And also raise questions about how the deadliest natural disaster in the state's history might have been avoided. Noah Pransky, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.